uh, Wednesday afternoon and let me show you a few things that I got today first of all I got hardy backer so I can start the bathroom I found an old wooden step that is mostly rotting but it makes the climbing up into the uh, bread and breakfast easier um, I did find whoops I did find uh, a vacuum pump for my AC uh, my mini split they were quoting anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars to do it so I bought the machine for 96 and I looked at how to do it and a lot of people on there said they did it exactly like the guy said and uh, I'll try to put the link below just in case you have to do the same and um, I'm gonna try it out and tell you what it's like but anyway I got that I'm waiting for it to come from Amazon I was gonna put tile but I found this waterproof grout free wall tiles that interlock and they are usually four dollars a square foot but today they were trying to get rid of them so they put them down to 99 cents or 97 cents I think uh, a square foot so each box instead of being $80 it was or a little bit less than 80 it ended up being 17 and a half so that's what I did I bought those and they're gonna go into the bathroom they're good for bathrooms I mean the shower they're good for that too and the only thing that you need to buy is also the corners but I found an alternative that's gonna be I think even better so next thing I need to do is start putting the uh, hardy backer into the shower so I can start working on uh, what do you call it on uh, then putting that thing on and I should be able to get it done by tomorrow day off from working out so I slept in a little bit which I needed it but uh, need to continue with the work and uh, let me show you where I left off and it is right there I need to finish up the top so then I can start attaching the new flooring that I got uh, right there so, without further ado.
let me show you the semi-final product. Uh, I'll explain the stick in a second. But I did all the caulking in the corner. I know it looks a little bit wider, but there's going to be a corner piece that's going to cover all of that. I just wanted to, I have currently double caulked it in the back, in the front, and I'm going to put one more layer in there. Uh, the, side, uh, the sideways thing was, um, for some reason, one corner kind of stuck out a little bit and I didn't see it and the glue inside had dried. So I cut that part of the glue off, let it go down, I put new glue and I'm pushing it out and I'm going to give it the two days that it requires. Uh, but very important part is the new uh, shower system, which uh, I'm going to tell the truth, I start opening it, but as soon as I start opening it, I wanted to show you guys, so I'll put it a little bit back together. So I haven't seen all of it either, but let's see. So one thing that it does say on the outside is that there are three layers to it to make sure. So this is the rain shower shower head. That goes at the top. This I haven't actually opened yet. Let me get a tripod set up so you guys can see it better. Um, Friday morning. I didn't sleep well last night for some odd reason. But anyway, so today I'm back at the bed and breakfast. And uh, everything seems to be good. And that one repair that I did down there worked. So today I need to figure out the shower uh, situation and figure out how to, where I need to cut, what I need to cut, etc, etc. So let's see how that works. I fitted the shower, I haven't done any of the plumbing behind it, but let me show you. All right, so here goes, that's the, the wand. And I did put it very close to the end. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I wanted a little bit out of the way because I hate when I take a shower and the hose touches my leg. And let me go further back. Uh, that's where the like rain shower head is. The one thing I wasn't thinking of because I've never used one this big before is eventually the light is going to go a little bit above it, which makes me feel that there's going to be a big old shadow. And I don't know if that's a bad thing, but there it is. Okay. And now let's put this one down. I need you to do this one on the inside here and on the inside here. Okay, I want you to look at all of the inside, make sure it's all covered. Okay, now let's go to the other side. Turn it around. There you go. It's okay if you get a little bit on your hands, just like I said, let's not get all of it in your hands. Okay. Look at that. Okay, go ahead and close it. Good job, man. Give me five. All right, so I'm needing to finish up the shower. And all of that, you see it, it's crooked because it's not tightened on the back. Same with that. But I have to do all the plumbing in the back. So, through this little skinny opening. Let me see. 
I mean, skinny opening. I have done. I have done all the plumbing in there. I'm working on the one that's going to go through here and it'll come right next to this one to the plug in there. Mama Mia, what did we do? Then we worked on the shower head. And? And the sink. And what did we do with them? Uh, we, um, we installed the, them. We connected all the plumbing. That's right, that's right. So here's what it looks like. This is the cold. This is the hot there. This goes down and goes to the, oh, sorry. Oh, go to the wand. And this goes to the shower head. The only things I'm left to do, um, the only things I have to do is uh, put in a little bit of wood in between so I can really secure them so they don't they don't come off but also I need to wait 30 minutes for all the glue to dry and then I have to do one more little thing on the sink and I think all of our plumbing is done um, I fixed also a, a tiny bit of small leak that was that way so finished up all the plumbing I had a problematic valve in the back and I ended up replacing it so there's no um, leaking so all of that is done now put this up thank you for tuning in this week please remember to like subscribe and click the notification button uh, now that we are done with the shower we can move on to some other things like the ceiling the air conditioning and we'll see what comes next but stay tuned in and see you again next week